Hi there, my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. You've just clicked on one of my DIY custom envelope videos in which I take one of the envelopes that I use for my cash envelope system and I decorate it up using cheap and inexpensive materials such as Sharpie markers, a little bit of rhinestones, and some sealant spray. No crickets were used in the making of this video. And it's just a simple, cheap, and expensive way to decorate your envelopes and make them look cute. My channel is primarily based on my budgeting journey using this cash envelope system, building hefty savings and financial security for myself and my family. So if this is something that might interest you, or if you're just looking for some inspiration or motivation for your own budgeting journey, or simply some entertainment, I appreciate you being here. Consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my thriving community. I'd love to have you and I'd love to be a part of your weekly inspiration. If you're already one of my current subscribers, one of my thrivers, hi, how you doing? I hope you guys have been having a great weekend and you've gotten this week kick started off. And you are not only surviving, but you're thriving. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. So I'm really looking forward to getting another envelope done. We are getting closer and closer to the end of my envelope DIY era and I'm looking forward to having those done. I don't know what I'm going to do once I have them all done. I might just start all over doing something else. I don't know. But before we do get this video fully started, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt card. It's basically a conversation starter between you and me. I'll answer the question in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. Ooh. <laughs> do you believe in the supernatural? Ghosts, UFOs, etc. How do you feel about haunted places? Well, I, I think that I do. I've not ever come into contact with either ghosts or UFOs. Um, in regards to UFOs, I feel like it would be a little bit conceited in a way to believe that we are the only life that exists in this entire world. Um, and as far as ghosts, I believe in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so uh, I guess that would be a yes. I don't really know that I've come into contact with any other type of ghosts. But I know of stories. I did have a couple of instances where I, you know, may have heard sounds that I can't attribute to anything. Stuff like that that is just kind of give you a little creepy. But I love watching uh, ghost movies and stories and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I do. What, I got, what about you guys? Do you believe in the supernatural? And how do you feel about haunted places? I personally love going to haunted houses and things like that. My hubby, not so much, not his cup of tea. So I get a lot of laughter when I do convince him to go with me. Um, but most of the times he doesn't and I have to go to those types of things with my kiddos. <laughs> but what about you guys? Do you believe in the supernatural and how do you feel about haunted places? So let's go ahead and get right into this video. Today we're going to be working with the emergency fund that I have here. Um, on the back, it you can see that other, this is before I started sealing the envelopes. And I just don't feel like replacing the envelopes just yet because that's just, that's the back, you know, it is what it is. But I will have to remove these letters in order to put the new thing that I want on this envelope. So let me go ahead and grab that and I'll show you what we're going to replace it with. It's going to look something like this. So I found this image on Google and I sized it down and printed it out to the size that I need for this envelope, which I think that's perfect. And if this is the first time watching one of my DIY videos, this is what I like to do. So I'll find an image, create an image, or find and edit an image and um, whatever it is. And then what I do is I stick it inside of here in front of the cardstock that I have inside here already. 
And um, at this point, you could easily just leave it like that, and then you have your image that you can change out at will. But I like to do things the hard way, and i kind of already been doing this with all of my envelopes, so I'm just going to stick with that method. But what I do is I take Sharpie markers, and I, after I tape this down, I will trace over the image on top of the envelope itself. Then, once I have it fully traced, I will remove it from here and clean it up, make sure it looks the way that I want it to look, and then I have my image set. And then I'll take it outside later, once it's fully dry, and then I will spray it with a Krylon acrylic sealant spray, and which is doing pretty well, but then I am finding that it still gets a little tacky when it's pushed up against the other envelopes. So then I had to go one further and use talc powder and dust it off a little bit just to kind of help it do its full curing. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. It's been a headache, but I'm too far into this to stop now. So um, I will be taking these stickers off. This is what I put on there in the very beginning of my budgeting journey. And so I will be taking those off and replacing it with this image. As you can see, I don't have any yellow here. I didn't want yellow. I don't think that looks very good. So we are going to actually be using this color as the main part of this envelope. I'll be using this color as the deeper part here. And then of course the greens for the money and then black for the emergency fund. And I'll probably even outline the envelope itself. So that's my plan. And from this point on, I will basically just put some good music on for you guys as you enjoy watching me get this job done. And then we will come back at the end of this video and we will check it out, look it over, and we'll put it in the binder to see how it looks with all the others. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, enjoy the music, and I'll catch you at the end.
there she is. I like it. It looks really, really cute. Of course, it's got my purple and black going on, and you know, that's kind of my thing. Um, I am going to toss on a few of these while we talk and look it over. If I can figure out how to open it. I like it. I wanted to do the reveal a little bit differently this time just because I knew it was going to be so different than what it was looking like on, um, too big, I might need to go mediums, yeah, um, as I was doing it, it was looking a lot different, so I was like, ooh, it's going to look so different when I pull this out. All right, I will speed this part up. It's gonna take a little bit. Okay, so that's all I wanted to put on here. Um, I think it's enough little bling going on and it just makes it sparkle and all the much cuter. What do you guys think? You love it? I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the binder, although it will not stay there for now because I do need to take it outside and spray it with the sealant spray just to ensure that this stays protected. But we'll check it out and see what it looks like in my reserves binder. So let's check it out. We're going to put it right here in the back, which is where it belongs. Right there. Very cute. I love it. What do you guys think? So I think, if I'm not mistaken, everything but the words on the vet bill is done. So let's do a flip through. We have our car maintenance, health savings, home emergency, bills advancement, vet bill. These will have to be replaced, obviously, and home, I mean, emergency fund. So now these are all done and I finished another binder. Um, yeah, so all of these, all of these envelopes that you see have an, a video attached to it. So if you want to see how I did them, you can go back and watch those. It's an entire series on my channel, a playlist that you can see all of these um, envelopes I did, even this one on video. So I will have to remove these and put my own letters because I don't want stickers on here. But for now, it looks great. So there's our last one in this binder. And then after this, we're going to be moving on to my savings binder. I have a couple in there that need to be finished. And uh, not much. Let's look at them. So for savings, I just have savings and retirement. Um, I do have anniversary that needs to have the letters taken off, but I already did this. Um, but I'm gonna save all of these for later to do probably in one big video because it's just doing letters. So I'll let you guys decide. If you're still here, you wanna put in your vote, which one do you wanna see next week? Savings or retirement? I already have the designs for both, so um, I got, went ahead and created them and got them ready, so um, whatever one you decide is the one we will do on Monday, whatever gets the most comments about. Um, and that's about it. So 
after this, I won't have any other, well, I take that back because I'm going to be making a new envelope. You'll have to stay tuned on Friday for that. Um, but I'll have that one I will be able to do. Anyway, I'm, I'm totally rambling at this point. Let me know in the comments below which one you want to see me tackle next week, and we'll get that done. Um, but I think this turned out a lot better than even I could have imagined. I think so. I like that it still looks like an envelope, even though I literally used the same color purple. I just layered it, <laughs> and it looks really good. All right, so I will see you guys in the next video, which will be, of course, Wednesday, WTF Wednesday. Got to go over those expenses. Got to replace money back into the bank. So I'll see you guys then, and uh, keep thriving, guys. And as always, until next time. Bye.